All right, what's going on guys? It's Daniel and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to discuss about NASCAR Xfinity Series driver Tyler Reddick and Richard Childress. Now, why do you think you might be talking about this? Well, it's because we got to talk about he might not be in Richard Childress next year or he might be only in Cup with Richard Childress Racing. I know, kind of weird connotations, but whatever. Sorry if you hear that in the background. My brother's playing Fortnite right now with, and he's getting mad. So, let's get into it. So, Richard Childress, only cup ride for will keep Tyler Reddick with the team. Childress said this. He's going to be a superstar, Childress said Tuesday when asked about Reddick during a Bristol Motorsports event at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. We hope to be able to keep him. But you know how this sport is. It boils down to dollars. We want to keep him here if there's any way. If not, I want to see him in a good situation. Children said his team has talked with Reddick only about being in a cup ride for, for 2020. He essentially rolled out a third consecutive season in Xfinity for the 23-year-old. The reason announced he will become a father. We really didn't need to know much about those details, but whatever. As that's our goal right now is to try to put him in a cup car, Children said. That's what he wants to do. That's the reason he came to RCR, because he knew we had cup cars and cup experience. He'll win some cup races if you put him in a cup car. That's where he wants to be, and I think he deserves it. He's ready for cup, cup for cup right now. RCR fields Chevy's in cup for Austin Dillon, children's grandson, and rookie Daniel Hummer, who is ranked 25th in the point standings with two top 10s, including a 7th Sunday at Pocono. It, it has run as many as four cup stars in the past, depending on sponsorship. Reddick has made two cup starts for RCR this year, finishing ninth at Kansas Speedway two months ago. And he said the team wants to have more cup races to schedule. At New Hampshire Motor Speedway two weeks ago, Reddick said his contract at RCR was just this year right now, but I think there's options here and there. But I don't need to get into those details. We're working hard. We wanted to win a championship on Nick's Finney's side. There's a lot more, a lot of other distractions out there. And that's kind of, I think that's kind of, interest in there some words his originally said we were maybe thinking about now we said it's basically a cup ride or nothing now the options that rcr has for for uh tyler reddick aren't the best op completely the best options see the first option is making it a three car operation and get it bring to 31 full time and he does have a little bit of sponsorship with the team the other option, another option, is booting Daniel Hamrick, and that would be unfair because Daniel Hamrick is a rookie, and recently he's been a lot more solid, and he's been finishing a lot better. Don't remove Daniel Hamrick from the team. He's been more solid. I know he's 25th in the standings, but even Austin Dillon is like 21st or 22nd. He's getting beat by Chris Buescher in the standings right now. They're, that team is not the best. And the other two options are... are um, Jermaine Racing, which isn't any better. They're not a great team. They have Ty Dillon, and they could open a second card, two cards to operation, but not a good idea. And then the other option is Richard Petty Motorsports. RCR, I don't know what I'm talking about. RCR affiliated team. But Richard Petty Motorsports is, is not a good team. RPM is not a good op option. Because I know Bubba Wallace has got sponsorship, but is he confirmed for 2020? So Reddick's in a tough situation if he wants to stay at at Richard Childress Racing. Another option he has is he looks somewhere else. And one of the options that could end up coming up, and I'm not saying this is going to completely come true, but Tyler Reddick could end up maybe one of these years, not one of these years, maybe go to, to Stuart Haas Racing. Something interesting to note. Clint Boyer is not the only driver potentially on the hot seat. And most likely Cole Custer is going to be in the 14 car next year. Daniel Suarez, if he doesn't make the playoffs, I don't think he'll be staying at SHR next year. I don't think he will be returning. Because Suarez, while he does bring sponsorship to, to the team, I understand it, it's like this is his third year in Cup. I get it. But... William Byron is doing better. Eric Jones is doing better. I mean, it's kind of start time to start putting in your place. Even Alex Bowman only started first full-time season in 18 is doing better than Suarez has ever has done. Not trying to shit on Suarez because Suarez has had 
a better year this year than last year. But he's got to start performing a little bit better. If Suarez will make the playoffs, um, he's probably going to be out of a cup ride. He'll probably. I'm not saying he is, but he could be up for a free agency um, at the end of the year, which is very interesting. We'll have to see what happens there. But yeah, so it's very interesting, the story about Tyler Reddick. So anyway... I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications turn notification on so you can be notified when a video goes live on my channel. And uh, continue to support this channel. We're getting close to 50 subs. That would be really awesome if you continue to support. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description below for that. And comment below your opinions on the Tyler Reddick situation. Where do you think Tyler Reddick will end up? Let me know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Skyme, next time. Take care, everybody.